I recently got back from Boulder, Colorado, where I was at the Real Rock 8 premiere and everyone in the crowd was screaming and clapping and it was jam-packed and everyone loved it, you know, it was a great success. The thing that makes the Real Rock show so great is that it's just action, action, action. The editors and the filmmakers are some of the best in the world. Whilst in Morocco, I had a camera of my own. And what are we doing? We are driving to Target. Why have we stopped? Gotta make a movie. Gotta make a movie. And I filmed a little bit of the filming. So it's a little bit of documentation of documentation. And uh, it was quite fun, you know, turning the camera at the camera guys for a change. For these guys to make climbing exciting, it's actually quite a job. They have to get the best camera guys, they have to get the best editors and put it together in a such a way that makes it exciting. This episode of Hazel Days is going to be taking a look at how they do that and how much work goes into making a film like this. One of the problems filming rock climbing is that if someone's climbing it's quite difficult to get really close to them with a the camera and not get in their way. Especially if what they're doing is a little bit scary or particularly hard, it's quite difficult to film them and not distract them. Um, which means that when you do make a climbing film, you often film the climbing as it happens, but then you go back and you reshoot certain things. Everything the same, but instead of filming our whole body from a distance, they'd get really close to our hands and feet and do close-up shots. When you actually come to watch the film, they cut it in such a way that it just looks... So a lot of people think that on these trips you just go climbing and there's some camera hidden in the corner uh, filming everything that happens. But to make films as good as Real Rock 8, you have to put in a bit more work. Um, you know, when we walked into Tagia, for example, we would stop and we would rewalk sections. So there's a lot of work that goes into getting all the shots that you need to make a story. Because cameramen have to get so close to you and you have to be working with them all the time. When we did Babel, it was something that we really cared about and me and Emily really wanted to give it our best shot. And the camera guys respected this and stayed out of our way the whole time. On Babel, they totally respected our need to move quickly and um, they, were, they never got in our way. I'm at the top, eh? Maybe one of the biggest days of rock climbing I've ever had. Me and Emily were in Morocco, we were in Tagia to climb a route that we really wanted to try our hardest on and we really cared about giving it our best on-site attempt. Um, and that was for us, that was for our climbing, it was for us as a partnership and just to have a like fun big day out. Nice. Go on then. But at the same time, the trip was sponsored by the North Face and being filmed by the Real Rock guys. 
So obviously there's more than our wants and needs in the pot. We just decided that the first day when we just gave it our best on-site attempt would just be for us really. And it was a day I'll always remember. And it wasn't spoiled by the fact that people were filming us. Um, and then the other side of the spectrum is all the posing we did afterwards and the interviews and the uh, going back on the wall and redoing certain moves in certain sections. That was the work part. And I think as a professional climber it's pretty good to like separate those two things. So you know, a lot of people think that like it's the climbers films, it's the climbers who put the work in because they're the people they see on the screen. But in actual fact, it's the camera crew and the riggers that have to put these ropes down the wall and then sit in a harness for like 10 hours or something and film us. How far we got? Another day in the mountains. Looks like a nice day, although yesterday the clouds came in pretty, pretty abruptly and we got some rain. And then imagine holding a really big heavy camera and pointing it in the same direction for hours on end. It's a really difficult job.